Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last session we met up with best boy Grunt and investigated what was going on with the Rachni. It turned out the Rachni had been getting Reaperified, uh, but thankfully we managed to blast through the mindless hordes, save the queen for a second time and got her on side. And Grunt made it out just barely <laughs> intact, covered in blood. So uh, that was that was a time. That was pretty honestly. That felt more like a main mission than a side mission. I'm surprised that was just a side thing. But that was very very good. So today we are continuing on with the side missions as we try and get them all wrapped up before the next main mission, because uh, that is just what is best to do for this game. Because apparently you can get locked out of stuff and things. So. Yeah, side missions are the priority. So we've got N7 Cerberus Abductions on Benning, which also links up to this one, Benning Evidence. Uh, we've got Cerberus Attack on Tuchanka. Uh, we've got a Tuchanka Platoon. Uh, so multiple things on Tuchanka. Uh, which one should we do first? Well, let's go with this N7 Cerberus Abductions first, I guess, and then we'll do all the Tuchanka ones together. Does that sound like a plan? I think that sounds like a plan. Into the galaxy map we go! Right. We scanned the fuck out of this place and there was nothing there, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there was nothing to scan either in Mullazul or Maskimzul. It's still a Reaper joint, right? Yeah. I'm just going to do one last double check. Yeah, okay. Evasion successful. Nice. So. Has any more opened up? Ah, Arcturus Stream. That wasn't there before, I don't think. Yeah, this must be the one then, right? We've done those, we've done those, we've done these. Yeah, okay, this one then, Arcturus Stream. Okay, wait, what is this? Arcturus Station, but the actual server's abduction thing is up there, so what's this? Lying at the L5 Lagrangian point of Themis, of Themis are the fused metal fragments of Arcturus Station destroyed by Reaper Capital ships. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament and the nerve center of their military armada. Now it's a cold grave for 45,000 people. Oh, yikes. Big yikes. I found something. What did you find? Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Huh. That's 50%. What else can we get? Probably fuel. Yeah, that's going to be fuel. So I will leave that until I come back here. I think. Reapers eluded. Wow, this is a pretty big space. Okay. Signal confirmed. Oh, this is just fuel as well. Okay. That's fine. That tops us up nicely. That's 100% here. Okay. Benus, Benus, Benning, Cerberus abductions. Combined Benning and Cerberus into one word there. Benning, the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station, is the primary source of its food supply and, and an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, the Reapers sent a small force to Benning to destroy its convoys, spaceports and starships. With the population immobilized and communications cut, the main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat sources in Benning space indicate a non-Reaper presence here. Right, Cerberus. 
Let's fucking go, bitch! Slap those bitches! Heck yeah, right. Um. Hmm. Let's take Edie, because Cerberus. Let's remove that outfit, and let's go for... You know what, I think I just like her regular outfit the best. Uh, and you know what, James? Let's give you a shot. Let's give you a shot. Hang on, let's unselect you and see what James's outfits are like. That one. That one. That one. That one looks pretty dope. Let's try that. Let's give James a shot. It's a little side mission. Hopefully, there won't be anything too important here. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if it's something important, I'd rather have, like, Liara along, you know? But, uh, we'll see. Um, right, so I'm fine with what I've got. Uh, you are fine too, but we can mod you out. Damage. I always forget. I don't have to... Click A to accept, I just need to move down. Uh, that one, sure, that works well. Now, do you want the Vindicator? Is that what we decided? Didn't I see them? I could have sworn the Matic was better. Am I going insane? I swear, last time, I remember saying the Matic looked better. But it has less damage than the Vindicator. Or maybe that's just because I've modded it now. But the mods stay on, don't they? Oh, wait, do the mods not stay on? Wait, why don't the mods stay on? Why are the mods... Hmm. I thought the mods, like, persisted between things. Okay, so now with that... Okay, now the Matic is better. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was confused for a minute there. Right, have you got any... No, we're good. Uh, we have five points. Damn, we're leveling like crazy. Um, what do we want then? Uh, do we want more witnessing, fitnessing, melee damage bonus, health and barrier bonus? Yeah. Shield recharge delay decreased would be good. Uh, increased recharge speed of biotic charge by 200% after an enemy is killed by heavy melee. That's That would be crazy if my charge was slower, but my charge is very fast. So it's like, I don't really need that. Because by the time I charge in and then do a heavy melee, my charge is already about to be ready anyway. Like, to the 200% would save me, like, a second. So, cool, but nah. So, honestly, the health and barrier bonuses might actually be good, considering how quickly I was getting ripped apart in that uh, rack line mission we just did. So I'm tempted... But there's always slam to keep upgrading, even though I continue to not actually use it. So, you know what? Let's not do that. Uh, what is incendiary ammo? What are the final tiers of this? Ammo capacity by 30%. Headshot damage by 25%. So we'd go ammo capacity. Uh, increase health and ammo armor damage bonuses by 10. Or ignite enemies with an intermittent explosion that covers that for that. Uh... Hmm. That's interesting. It specifically says, increase health and armor damage bonuses by 10%. And then it has the two bars of health and armor damage bonus. And it goes from 25% to 37.5%. So that's actually a 12.5% increase on both of them. And it, like, literally has the exact numbers there to show you. But the thing says 10%. <laughs> Is that a bug, or am I misreading somehow? Like, that is clearly a 12.5% increase, not a 10% increase. Um, you know what, let's go, let's go with ammo capacity up 30%. I don't really care about that, but I'm never aiming for the head, so, with a shotgun. So, ammo capacity up 30%, and then we'll get the intermittent explosion one. That sounds pretty fun. 
That sounds pretty fun. Uh, ED, what do you have? We've maxed out your incinerate, so... What does your decoy do at higher levels? Duration, shields, recharge speed, shock enemies. Decoy explodes. It's actually not as interesting as I was hoping, not gonna lie. Uh, maybe we just go overload then. Sounds good. And James, let's do your frag. Uh, increase grenade capacity by, capacity by two, very nice. Oh, oh, that's a toughie. The final choice is either increase damage to armor by 50% or increase damage to shields by 50%. What do we see more of? Do we see more shields or do we see more armor? I feel like it's shields. No, I, I'm, I'm hovering over the one I meant, but I said it wrong. I feel like it's armor. Yeah. Let's go with that. Cool. His frag is maxed out. He is fragging out. All right, let's go. Shepard, Cerberus strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. And That's crazy, man. Indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Indoctrination. We sent a recon team. Obviously, indoctrination. Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocent are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that. Lieutenant. Classic elusive man the bullshit. The down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. I had no knowledge that they were doing this to David Archer. Oh! How could this have happened? Oh, I had no knowledge that they were torturing this other place. Oh, how could this have happened? Oh, I had no not etc. Liar. On my way. Keep me updated. Okay, this looks like a cool environment. It's like a proper like high-rise flats, I guess, is one way of describing it. Like it doesn't look like the kind of high-rise flats we know, but. We have never seen an environment quite like this in uh, Mass Effect before, or fought in it. That's pretty cool. Right, so let's pop on our incendiaries, let's pop on his incendiaries, uh, and let's... Oh, you've already got the grenades on the right bumper, that's very nice. Right. Cerberus, you motherfuckers. I'm here to fuck you. Secure the upper streets. Ugh, it's a fucking one of those things. Right. That'll do it. The diversion is working, Commander. Civilians are on the move. I feel like I've gone too far in without fully checking some of these areas. Haha. <laughs> because there is definitely something to find here. Because this is the place where the dude's son went missing. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. Gotta double time it. Yeah, I'm not gonna double time it. Spare parts, very nice. Okay. We gotta find this stuff. PDA. Svetlana Alexandrov. They have us surrounded. Private security from the depot tried to help, but they got slaughtered. Someone has to know. Someone has... Then it's cut off. Anything to find on this landing pad, maybe? Doesn't appear to be. Mm. 
What about in here? Anything on these computers? Any files? Spare parts. PDA. Be careful, Nemo. If you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers. Ellie. Also, be careful of that one smaller fin. Hello, you big bitch. Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Just Piss your pants. There. Commander, more service troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give us civilians time to escape. You heard him. Okie doke. Hold here. To go. Computer console, run. To anyone reading this, don't trust Cerberus. They're taking people against their will. Just run. Whatever you do, don't look back. Run. Yeesh. Hello. There we go. It wasn't letting me uh, charge. Mostly, Mass Effect 3 has been way better with, like, allowing me to charge. Mass Effect 2 often wouldn't if there was any slight height difference or anything. Poke your head up, fucko! Wow, I missed. He died planking. Man actually died planking. Incredible stuff. I assume the civilians can't actually die, right? Like, I'm not fucking them over by checking out these houses and stuff. Yeah, no, I have the stronger fucking melee, you bitch. Where'd that come from? This place is pretty big, huh? Oh wait, I'm back at the start. Wait, I, l I must have gone around further than I thought. Nice grenade, bitch. You missed. Okay, where haven't I checked? Because I still haven't found this stuff. And it has to be here, because this is Benning. And the fucking dude's capacitor helmet? No, that's just outfit stuff. The dude said specifically that his son went missing on Benning. So, like, the info has to be here on Benning. But where? I feel like I'm being very thorough and finding nothing. Thing I already read. Where the fuck could this info be? Is there a chance it's not on Benning? The information on the person who went missing on Benning? Surely not, right? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It still says he has a bit of health left. Okay, what can I have missed? Did I scan Benning before I came down here? What if it's that I need to scan it from orbit and it's not actually something you find in the mission? No, I'm pretty sure it is something you find in the mission, actually. I'm pretty sure that is how those things work, is that the ones like that are like actual drops to find. 
But I feel like I've like it's not a particularly large area. It's fairly. It's it's big enough, but it's like I've searched it top to bottom twice, and I have not found this thing. So I don't know. Watch your fucking surroundings, dickhead. Also, this is a whole lot of Cerberus. I'm surprised by just how much Cerberus there is. Dog tag? Is that it? Nothing came up. It didn't give me anything. Well, that could be it. A dog tag, but it didn't say anything on the right hand side. Normally, everything you pick up comes up on the right. You're clear. To acknowledge Go. that you've got it. My face when it's just ra I'm looking on top of boxes and stuff at the side of the room, and it's just on the floor. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. Does it say that we got it? Uh, this one. Find evidence of what happened to his son and return to the ambassador. I feel like it's got to be dog tags. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully that was it. Just do one more quick check of this area. No, I think the dog tags must have been it. It's just weirding me out that they didn't come up on the right hand side as like a journal update or anything. against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. Never we'll believe find Cerberus. find a foothold in getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Elusive Man's literally gone insane and is indoctrinating the people that fucking work for him, so I don't <laughs> think... There is any universe where we go, let's trust Cerberus on this one. You know? You know? New for the Alliance. Arcturus First Division. The Arcturus First Division is... Wait, is it an update? No. It's a volunteer army of civilians, paramilitary forces, and reserve soldiers who have banded together to stop the Reaper occupation of the planet Benning. To avoid to, to avoid detection by Reaper forces, its members operate in cells, never staying in one place long. A handful of Alliance officers are coordinating the 1st Division, sharing intel and sending supplies to the Resistance soldiers. A few Alliance squadrons have been spared to support Benning's makeshift army with trained soldiers. Nice, that was it. Yes, Commander? That's all. Of course, Commander. Nothing for you. What about Rex? Need something, Shepard? Anytime. Nope. I feel like this is going to be a very quick tour of the ship this time. It's not so, seeming like people are going to have anything to say. Have colonies. You can't bomb them or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. With, with a crucible. You beat them with a crucible. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Sweet. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we may have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. Do you huh? sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Man, I swear she's flirting. 
I swear she's flirting. Boop. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Commander? Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you <laughs> categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Hello, Shepard. Joker calls her mum, and yet also wants to bang. Joker, do you need to see a therapist or anything? <laughs> Just asking, man. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. So far, she's never lied to me, like Kelly did. Telling me that there was no messages when there were some, and there were when there weren't, and all that. My project from Liara. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in your quarters when you have a moment? Liara. Ho ho. Ho ho. Is this... I don't know if this is like... Yeah. I want to show you a project. Wink, wink, wink. Wink. You know? Or if this is actually a project. I don't know. But either way... Let's go see Liara in my private quarters. Invite Liara. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. What is that? She's holding. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. This wasn't a booty so, call, was it? I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Cool. 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Oh. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Honestly, Lara, Liara, Lara, Liara, rather. You you decide what you think is best. You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a powerful biotic, nearly unstoppable when he charged into a fight. He was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Aww. Careful, this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. Did I just get friend zoned? <laughs> so are you. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Don't forget to add the bit about the 10 inch dick, you know? Gotta, gotta make future people jealous. <laughs> that was nice. That was very nice. It wasn't a booty call, but it was nice. I keep feeling the need to fucking feed the fish, even though I bought the thing, but I'm just like paranoid that it's not gonna work. I don't know. Uh, right. 
So, what are we doing? Oh, right, we checked our mail and it was a thing from Liara. And then we went up there, so we need to do the other, the other floors now. Oh, Adams is gone. Chuckwas is still here. Not in a chatty mood. Nobody in here. Nobody in here. Nobody in here. Lee, Lee, Liara. Lee, Lee, Liara. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Yeesh. Gosh, their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Well, not the ones that weren't in the cities that were being nuked. <laughs> If you were in the immediate immediate blast zone, it would be instantaneous, but, uh, yikes. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Okay, Prothean Notes Entry 3. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I thought he would sacrifice all of us with... Oh, and I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticise the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Yeah, seems like the Protheans are a bunch of fucks. Like, actual dickheads. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Telemetry captured from Arcturus Station shows just how quickly Reapers poured in from the relay and tore through Alliance fleets. VIs can analyse hostile fire in the data collected to increase weapon damage. They can also spend processing power looking for ways to improve shielding against Reaper weapons. Weapon damage bonus 5% or shields 5%. Uh, Let's go shield. Uh, that's actually a tough one. Weapon damage is always good because, you know, the shotgun, but the shotgun's one hitting a lot of people anyway. And the shield strength translates into Nova strength as well, although I'm using Nova less at the moment because, I don't know, just feels like a bad idea a lot of the time suddenly. Uh, let's go shield strength. Cool. So we've got... Power recharge plus 10, shields plus 10, and weapon damage plus 5. Not bad, not bad. Please enjoy your day. Likewise, little robot buddy. Likewise. Boop. Later. Cool. <laughs> Lovely talking to you as ever, my dude. Shepard. Eve ready for travel to... Nice talking. We'll be here, if continuing to study. It's my pleasure. Never anything from those guys. Never anything back there. No. you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. <laughs> Was that an attempt at fucking comedy by Javik there? Commander. You don't seem the comedic type, Javik, but well done. That was a funny joke. I'm proud of you. Gabby, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trina? She's not a 
Yeoman. She's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. <laughs> Wait, are they saying that Trainer's not into dudes, so she's not hitting on me? Because goddamn does it sound like she's flirting with some of the stuff she says. But it may... It, um, unless... I, it didn't sound like... It sounded like they were being specific that she's not into dudes there. It wasn't just like she's not into, you know, Donnelly or whatever. So... Adams would like to speak to you. You should go see Adams, Commander. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Sus. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? Is it even possible? Like, the Normandy's fucking quick as fuck, right? Like, is it possible for the shields to be taking heavy damage whilst going at full speed? I feel like that would be very hard to hit us. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Nothing to report, Commander. Alright. Citadel GX-12 Thermal Pipe. Just gonna be at a random shop there, I guess. Commander. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Brick. Hey Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A <laughs> stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. <laughs> good banter. I can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. I think his original plan, like, he originally was about putting humanity first no matter what, but it seems like he's just sort of abandoned those ideals and now he's just about power. Is what it seems to I me. I appreciate you checking in on me. Sir. Who's a good doggo? Who's a good doggo? Go there. Did he just overlap saying hey there and good dog? Can I fucking... It just won't let me do anything now. Hey. 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 Okay. Back up we go. So. That was that. Got the new one. Uh, find one on the Citadel. When it says find one, does it mean buy one? Or does it actually mean find one? Not sure. Um, I think we've got that done, but it hasn't updated, so who knows. Uh, Barla Von in the Dranic system in the Krogan DMZ. We can do that. Zoop. Yeah, I did scan here. Got 100%. This is going to be fuel, right? Nice. Fill back up. That's 100%. 
which means the whole joint's at 100% right. Yeah. Okay. Wait, was this one here before? Ninmar Cluster. I feel like I recognize the name. Maybe I have checked that one out already. I really wish it would tell you which ones you've been to and which ones you haven't. You can tell for the ones that have stuff, like this one that says 100%. Obviously, you no, know, I've been there and I've scanned it to full. But, like, these ones, I'm pretty sure I've been to both of these and they just didn't have anything to scan at all. So there is no percentage on them. So I just, it's hard to remember. Um... Actually, that's... That's that one. Is there anywhere else flashing, actually? Because flashing means there's a quest there, right? Wasn't there something here? Am I going fucking insane? What was here? I feel like I recognize the name. Listening post. What was the listening post? Wait, have I read this? Listening post X-19 was built shortly after the Rachni Wars, just in case any Rachni survived the annihilation of Suen. The post orbits a mass relay and is still manned and maintained, although today it largely exists as a customs checkpoint for researchers studying the Rachni homeworld. Among members of the council military, being assigned to the station is seen as a form of punishment or exile, considering that there have been no signs of sapient life on Suen for over a thousand years. Oh, this is the Rachni joint. That's why I was here. Did I scan the fuck out of this place and there was just nothing to find? Seems like it. All right, let's head over here then. Ah, wait. How do we select which one we're doing? Because it is Tuchanka that has the main mission Cure the Genophage and the side mission Extract Turian Survivors and the side mission Investigate Cerberus Presence. Hmm. Is it going to let me choose which one I'm doing? Because I just really, I don't want to run the risk of it just forcing me into the main mission, but I guess I wouldn't have a choice. Okay, there's nothing here it seems like. Dranic, we need to do Dranic. Doesn't say there's anything here, but this was where something is, right? I found something. Sure is. Wait, that'll be fuel. What's this? Shadow Broker Wet Squad. They've been going diving. <laughs> uh, once Rothlo was a large ice dwarf with the statistics listed below, in the waning years of the Krogan Rebellions, it was shattered into fields of debris by what is assumed to have been the test of an exotic weapon system. In the wake of the event, the planetoid was reduced to a relatively contained field of thousands of tiny moonlets rotating around one another, colliding and ricocheting. The method used to destroy the planetoids has never been deduced. The Krogan, Krogan clan who performed the experiment apparently all died in the event. Ships that have travelled to the edge of the event's light cone observed a moment of extreme gravitational lensing around Rothla immediately before its breakup, but no other clues. Huh. A popular extranet meme put forward by Asari author Delsai Orthisa insists that the Turians are covering up the existence of a Krogan superbiotic breed that was genetically engineered within Rothla. The CDEM enforces quarantine around the Rothler field, citing cases of amateur investigators whose ships came to grief in the debris field. Oh wait, I just scanned it. What am I doing? And fuel. Fill that back up. Good, good. So is that what I needed here? Because wasn't there something from the Dranic system? Uh... Yeah, that was that. That was the Barlavon one. I thought that was going to be an actual mission, but it was just scanning. Okay, so we got that, so that's good.
Bonk. Off to Nith. Signal confirmed. All right. Ha! Huh. Can't even see the planet there because of the fucking sun's ray. That's cheeky. Manton. Get that fuel back. Oh, that's already 100%. Okay, so time to figure out how choosing side missions here works. Is it going to be easy? Oh, sick. Oh, that's actually really cool. You know what? That is far cooler than I was expecting. I was expecting at most a list and at worst I was expecting it to just like force me into the mission or something. But the fact that you can actually like see the locations of the different missions on the planet and then scan over to the location and choose it like on the surface that is a really really cool way of doing it that's a really really cool way of doing it i guess we should read the tuchanka entry even though it's probably not that different from last time but scarred by bombardment craters radioactive rubble choking ash salt flats and alkaline seas tuchanka can barely support life thousands of years ago life grew in fierce abundance under the f-class star aralak a rake clan word meaning eye of wrath. Tree, tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. Their reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. <laughs> In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, which is based on orbiting battle stations. Huh. Right, so we can do either of these first then. The Cure the Genophage one is the main mission. So, Cerberus attack, investigate Cerberus presence, or downed vessel, extract Turian survivors. Which should we, sh which should we go for? Let's do the Turian survivors one, because I am very curious on what the fuck they're actually doing here, and I hope it tells me. I really hope it tells me. I assume it's got to, right? Okay, well, Turian, so Garrus, you're coming along. I really like that outfit. Do I want to try any other outfits? Not the helmet one, not the desert one. That's your base one, so yeah. You're sticking with this outfit from now on. Uh, and, uh, it's Krogan related. Obviously, Rex isn't a full squad member, sadly. Man, is this going to be it, do you think? I wonder. There's only space for, like, one more person, but I'm wondering if there even will be one. Imagine if there's only five companions. Surely not. No, no. There's no way that Tali's not a companion. There's no way. There's no shot. Garrus and Tali have been the two that have continued through each of the games. There's, she's definitely going to be returning. I would stake... I was going to say my life. I wouldn't stake my life on it, because there is always a chance that she doesn't. I would stake my credits on it. How about that? Uh, let's take Javik. And actually, let's put him in his black suit for a mission, just to see how it looks. I don't think I'm going to prefer it, but we'll take a look. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're all good with our mods. Uh, right, I have four points left. I'm saving up for incendiary ammo, so we'll save that. Uh, Garrus, you have ten points. I think we're putting that into the concussive shot, were we? Or were we going to put that into the proximity mine? Hmm. Yeah, let's do the proximity mine. Uh, increased damage dealt to targets from all sources by 20% for 8 seconds, or slows targets movement speed by 30% for 8 seconds. I feel like the mine's probably going to kill anyone it damages, so I feel like this is pretty useless, but we'll do that. Oh, and then we can't afford the last one. Right. Well, in that case, well, no. Increased damage by 50% is pretty good. We'll just wait for that. Uh, Javik, we maxed out your dark channel, so now let's do more lift grenade. 
Uh, impact radius by 30% or damage by 30%? Uh, I feel like impact radius... Actually, that is a lot of damage. That's just, I didn't realize just how much damage it was doing. I thought the primary purpose was to lift the enemies up. And that damage was a secondary thing, but it's dealing fucking 800 damage and it can be up to a thousand here. And the extra 1.5 meters is probably not as interesting. So let's just go with damage, honestly. And then we'll do grenade capacity by two. And then the final one, slam floating targets to the ground as lift wears off, stunning them for three seconds or damage and radius. Yeah, it's going to be damage and radius, obviously. <laughs> obviously, fucking a three second stun compared to just shitloads of damage and shitloads more radius. Like, that's no choice at all. No choice at all. Cool. Right. Let us go. Thank you.